That's his excuse to be to come in late. <laughs> See that? See how easy it is to be mean to people? <laughs> Got here, Johnny. Got one of the fancy new Hellcat 2018. I think he just got the car, and the first thing I want to do is do some modifications as far as vinyl. I already gave it one pass with the clay bar, and I'm gonna go again with this like nano skin here, and even though it is brand new. This still has a lot of like rough parts on it and road grime stuff like that, but I'm getting all that off, and we're gonna have a perfectly clean finish. And then after that, we're gonna start working on this wing here, and then uh, get this wrapped up, and then the customer's all set. <laughs> What did you say? I buy you donuts. You guys are all such yeah, to me. I this is crazy. I wait, wait, I bought you a uh, coffee the other day. That coffee probably cost more than this donut. I bought you donuts like eight times this month. Uh, like three. I counted. What did you tell Mitch right now? That's his excuse to be to come in late. Let me know. See that? See how easy it is to be mean to people? <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, that's too far. Bro. That's way too far. <laughs> you Johnny, what are you doing right now, brother? Taking off this antenna on this Hellcat. It's so dark in there, it's kind of hot. And I'm just trying to make sure nothing breaks. Everything's hopefully working. Ow! <laughs> Everything's hopefully gonna work out fine, but since I've never done one of these before, I have to be very gentle and very slow. No money? Everybody is so rude. No, I just want respect. <laughs> so thank you. You're staying overtime, bro. Why? Because you're lovely guy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. You heard it here, folks. <laughs> <laughs> so instead of just pulling this down and breaking everything, you get one of these little guys here, and you just ease it out by getting popping that clip, and then you're all set. No broken clips here, boys. We got a Hellcat in the building. I love these things. This is a car that I actually considered buying. So the fact that it's here, I want to look it over. We're doing a roof wrap on it. A couple other things just to kind of tidy up the look. It's all white right now with yellow accent, which is signature. No? No. So what that is right there is, is that's this? just that's a bumper. So that's so you won't scratch up your so front end. So I haven't seen everybody with these. So they keep them on. Some people just like the way it looks. I'm good with you. You can expose me because I didn't know. I've yeah. seen these on and I'm no, like. A lot of people don't. Some people don't. They have the car. Don't even know what they're for. So these right. are actually a covers. So you won't scratch the front end. I believe okay. it's so when they're, they're taking off the ship or you know from anywhere from the ship into the. You Do know, a lot of people leave these they on? Leave a lot of people leave because on. I've been seeing them on the car and I'm like, man, that looks dope. But now when you see it. It does look like a cover, and it doesn't look like it's supposed to be there, but it serves a good purpose. So I'm getting schooled on camera right now by Hefe, but if you guys know, Hefe is our American muscle god over here. Always talking about how we don't have American muscle in the building, which we do. What do you think of the car? I personally love the Hellcat. I like okay. it. It's just one of those cars where it's just like, hey, let me give you way too much horsepower, put it at a semi-affordable price, put it on the street whether you know how to drive or not, and right. you're going to be... This car will beat a lot of cars that people put mad time into and mad money into. Off the lot, this will beat it. And I felt you gotta respect it. As much as I'm a Chevy driver, right. you have to respect the power. The Hellcats, they don't have any type of roof rail. Most cars have a plastic roof rail that we remove when we're wrapping the roof. In this case, there is no roof rail. So what we did is we laid a product called knifeless tape right here. So this is gonna make the cut for us. So no blade actually makes contact with the paint. Another thing that you guys ask about all the time is when we're wrapping roofs that have a sunroof on it, how do we do it? Very, very easy, very, very straightforward. Uh, we wrap the roof with the sunroof open. Usually open, but that's always a... <laughs> Johnny, wanna explain yourself? Yeah, I got really excited. I laid this roof <laughs> and I got yelled at by Mitch because I left it closed. <laughs> Exposed, bro. I was like, wait, open? But I looked at it and I was like, it's not open. Yeah, I guess even in our shop, we do roof wraps all the time. Sometimes we get a little ahead of ourselves. Mr. Tsunami today was the one that got a little ahead. Hi, guys. All right, let's get into this debate. So I'll ask you guys, the viewers, GTR or Hellcat? And why? You definitely say why. I personally, I love the GTR. What I like about the GTR is that there's so many performance modifications available for that vehicle. You can build those things up to 2200 horsepower. I mean, it's not cheap, but you could do it. Why would you pick a GTR, GTR over a Hellcat? I don't know, the technology that's gone into it. Oh, yeah. I don't be rude because our customer might watch this video. You guys don't be rude. It's not being rude. Look at Kanye West. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like GTRs have been proven and they're just a good platform. Nissan has a, is a good platform. I've never really liked the Charger platform. I know the original Chargers were always really slow. It just seems like a big clunky car that puts down a lot of power and spins tires. So 
don't think the tech's there to actually put the power down to the ground and get down the road? I don't know. I Let's ask the customer for tickets for a ride. What are you working on, Mitchie? I'm working on the wing. What's going on, Mitchie? I don't want to talk to you anymore. Mitch, I see you working on the wing right now. What are tips and tricks? <laughs> <laughs> what are tips and tricks to working on the wing? Basically, this wing, not super complex, but it does have a pretty heavy bend around here. So in order to avoid stretch and stuff like that, and just to increase longevity of the wrap, we're gonna be doing it in two pieces. I just see I laid my knifeless line up here, laid the entire back part of the wing, pulled the knifeless, and now basically just trimming along the bottom of the wing here. And as you see, we laid down tape just to keep blades off the car and everything like that. Just gonna trim this up, and then once that's done, we do the top side, so all of our seams are facing down and basically invisible. This thing's done. I don't get fired today! I pull the team? Yeah. Okay, yeah. thank you. He's like, get out of here. We do better when you're not here. Oh, you can take the month off. Take the month off, bro. <laughs> Please. I want to. I'm trying to hang out with my friends. Hey, Daniel, how did the roof come out? It came out perfect. Johnny Tsunami keeps his job another day. On fire. That was good. That was good. Everyone the shit out of me. I started getting scared. <laughs> I was like, wait. No, but for real though, that heat, I never felt it like shoot my face like that. So we just got finished with the Hellcat. Roof got done pristinely. Wing also got finished here. Yeah, so basically everything here got done. Everything got done with A1 quality, as you guys can see. Hopefully he can take us out for a ride. He said he would, so let's see if we can take him up on that offer. What's up, brother? I think about your car as you look. Way different, man. Way different. So I heard uh, you might be taking it for a ride real quick. Yeah. It's about to go on, bro. So we're about to take a ride. Nice little quick test run, as you guys could see. Kind enough to take us on a quick ride. And we're going to see, you know, I've never ridden one. Have you? Uh, no. So, yeah, it's going to be it's a first fun. first time for both of them. In track mode, bro. Oh. Here we go. Don't kill me, bro. Oh, <laughs> Started off bad already. <laughs> How long have you had it? Four months. Four months? Sir. Sweet. Don't has a red key, do you? Yes, right. No, I'm scared. <laughs> hey, you could just cruise. I just want to hear it. No! <laughs> Damn. This is tough. Like, honestly, I've been in the GTR before. You know that when you're in the GTR, it's four wheel drive. So right. it, it has that punchiness, but this just feels like a big, heavy, like, like aggressive. Okay. I looked over, I was like, 130. Another vlog down. So we kind of did something different today. We just filmed one project. But I think it's cool to really just show you one project and kind of reaction to the car itself. I thought that was cool. Today was kind of a mellow day. Crew's just kind of cruising. We had one project in, nothing crazy. We took the opportunity to go ride with the customer. The Hellcat's badass. You guys know this. I'm a real big fan of Japanese vehicles. 
riding the Dodge kind of set me off. Like I'd love to get one of those things. So I might have to go, go to the dealer and see what they're about because that little test drive we were on like five minutes, I was just like blown away. That car got power, dude. It puts you in your seat. Um, I don't know, what do you think, Epe? I loved it. You think your car could beat him? I loved it. Your car can't beat him. <laughs> We created some vinyl overlays for the car, so he's coming back next week. We're gonna tint out like the side markers and the tail lights. The reason why they weren't done today is because I'm gonna do all the computer CAD work. I'm gonna design the pre-cut overlays, have him come in to do the test fit, make sure they fit. And then once those are done, they'll be available on the website. So anybody who has a Hellcat or a Charger is gonna be able to buy those and put them on their car themselves. We are doing our 100,000, 200,000 subscriber giveaway very soon. Subscribers are coming fast, all the new guys, we. Appreciate you guys coming and check out our channel. Everybody's OG to the channel. Thank you guys for sticking around, hanging out with us. Uh, we'll catch you guys in the next vlog. <coughs> See you guys in the next vlog. What are you guys still doing here?